Hello, today I will show you um, a new, red sto a new um, storage system where you can sort the items and retrieve them. To sort them, they have to pass inside this uh, input uh, water flow. And uh, to retrieve them, you select uh, the item with the two um, item frames and retrieve them by uh, sending uh, short pulses to the system. So here I'm collecting logs. If I change the selection and uh, request items, I should uh, get uh, planks this time. Um, the system is based on um, a, a grid of uh, chests and uh, droppers. So each chest contains a single item and the single item is sorted by the uh, hopper uh, over it and uh, the each uh, um, dropper in this uh, grid can be uh, individually targeted uh, by these two uh, item frames. So now I will show uh, how this works. In the system the droppers are arranged as a grid uh, like this. It's a grid where each cell is uh, three by three uh, blocks. Um, over and uh, on the side of each dropper there is a redstone line that can but power uh, the dropper and uh, underneath there is uh, another redstone line going in the other direction and this one can update uh, the um, dropper so when it's at the same time but powered and um, uh, refreshed um, updated it will uh, shoot out an item consequently by uh, choosing a row uh, no, a column and a row uh, we can target individual uh, droppers let me show you I send a signal on this line and on this redstone line. Now if I activate the system, you see that there is one uh, dropper that uh, activates it, this one. And uh, I can ch change the position of the repeater. Now this uh, dropper is being activated. So this is the basis for the system. Uh, now I will show how to build it and how to integrate the um, sorting system on top of it. Okay, to start off, imagine that we will have our control room uh, around here. We will start um, the uh, grid in this uh, general area. The first thing to do is to decide how many items you want to store in the system. Um, because the um, item frames can have uh, eight dif different positions, uh, the normal design can be uh, up to 8 by 8 uh, individual items so 64 items but it can be uh, extended uh, with a little trick I will show you at the end uh, to 15 by 15 which would be uh, 190 individual items uh, anyway for this example I think I will do an 8 by uh, 2 um, grid to store uh, let's say all the wood colors in the game so I will start by placing um, uh, packed ice here and I want to go uh, 8 times 3 in this direction and uh, uh, 3 times 3 in this direction. Okay, uh, let me build this. Okay, I have created an, a packed, packed ice platform that will um, be used to collect the output items and I have put a rim around, around it. Uh, now what we want to do is uh, put uh, slabs, upper slabs, in the um, uh, perpendicular direction to the main direction of the system. So put one of these uh, uh, columns uh, every three blocks, like this. Then uh, we will put uh, redstone, dust, oops, redstone dust on top of it and uh, a dropper every uh, three blocks. So here and one here. The dropper has to be one uh, block off the side of the platform and uh, similar, uh, same thing on this side. So the next uh, droppers will be here and here. Let me complete it. All the droppers and the redstone uh, is now in place. I also added uh, water flowing uh, to the left here and the idea is that the items will get dispensed in this water flow and pass 
pass through uh, underneath the half slabs here. Um, now let's uh, build the um, selection system and the um, trigger system for this uh, redstone, these redstone lines. <coughs> the trigger will be uh, a redstone line here, and so there will be a signal going there and a repeater here. And for the um, uh, trigger mechanism, uh, we will have to have a redstone line here. So, well, two up from this one, and put um, a sticky piston here with a solid block underneath. So that way, when this piston is extended, uh, the signal can cannot pass, and when the piston is retracted, the trigger line can trigger uh, this redstone line here. So let me build this. Um, these lines, so one piston, one sticky piston every three blocks, uh, with a solid block underneath. Okay, let me build it and I'll be back. Okay, now the trigger signal line uh, is ready. So redstone line here and uh, repeaters every three ticks. The pistons, uh, the sticky pistons are in place, and there is a solid block line uh, near the pistons. Now what you want to do is go out two blocks, put a redstone comparator here, um, two redstone dust and a redstone torch here, and repeat this pattern. So comparator, torch, dust, dust, all the way. Okay, the comparators are in place, and this uh, uh, pattern is designed so that the redstone signal decreased by one every three blocks. Now this can be used to uh, select the input. So this comparator will be the main uh, input for this uh, line of pistons. So uh, let's put a block here to test um, an item frame and something inside. So when you change the position uh, of the item in the item frame, you can select which piston uh, is retracted. Okay, so now with the, th the th third, so and so on. And because of the item frame you can have up to eight uh, pistons in this direction okay uh, so now uh, we'll build the uh, other uh, selection line so we built for the uh, columns here let's build for the rows so we'll need to put a redstone line uh, here uh, let's see yeah, here, uh, one up and uh, one uh, right of each uh, comparator. So that one redstone line will be here, one will be here. And uh, at the end here, I want to uh, go down uh, three blocks. Okay, uh, that way it will be at the same height uh, than the other redstone line here. It will be easier to put the system together. So let's build these redstone lines. Okay, the redstone lines are in place. Now let's think about uh, where the trigger line and the um, selection lines will be. Uh, so the pistons will be in this position. This means that the selection line will be here. And we will have one uh, repeater here. And the trigger line will be in this position. There is no block here. Uh, now is a good time to check uh, the length of the redstone signal. So let's put something on this uh, repeater and see how far the signal goes. Um, and make sure it goes all the way. It doesn't, so we'll have to add a repeater. Uh, don't put it in this position, otherwise uh, the uh, dropper here wouldn't be uh, bud powered. So let's put it here. Same thing on the other side, on the other line. And uh, while uh, you are at it, I recommend doing two things. Uh, first, on in the front of each uh, dropper, put uh, two blocks uh, like this, uh, non-spawnable if possible. But uh, uh, that way, the items dispensed by this uh, dropper will not get uh, stuck on top of this uh, half slab here. Uh, also, uh, in the meantime put a redstone comparator, uh, no, a repeater at the same position on the other uh, trigger line 
over there. So a repeater here. That way the signal from this um, trigger line will also go all the way uh, to the to the end of the uh, grid. Okay, so let me put all these blocks and I'll be right back. All the blocks are now in place. I have also uh, added the um, selection line here and the trigger line here and I moved this um, comparator one block to the right so that it's more symmetrical. Now what we want to do is set up the trigger line. So to do this uh, we will join the two uh, trigger lines uh, on the right and on the left. Like so. Make sure that uh, it doesn't interfere with the redstone torch uh, on, over on top. So redstone here. And uh, now we want to send power to this, so one repeater on one tick, all the repeaters are on one tick on in this system. Uh, three dust, a comparator on subtract mode that will feed into itself. Okay, and uh, now we want to power this uh, comparator. So a dust here, block, and a lever. So now the system is uh, ready. Now this uh, dropper is being activated. If I switch uh, this, this dropper should be activated. There is no items in it at the moment. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, now we can maybe build the uh, um, selection system, not the selection, the um, sorting system on top of each uh, dropper. So let me show you how it's done. Before we start with the um, sorting system, uh, I realized I made a small mistake. The signal coming from this uh, trigger line doesn't go all the way through. Uh, this repeater is misplaced, so we should maybe put it uh, here. And uh, I recommend also moving these two so that they are at the same position. That way um, the droppers uh, receive the trigger signal with an equal delay on this line and on this line. So where is it? Here. Uh, yeah. So repeater here, here. And let's change this to a redstone torch. And now it goes all the way. Okay. Uh, now for the um, sorting system, what we you want to do is start with um, a hopper on top of the dropper, a chest on top, uh, another hopper, then two slabs like this and a third like this full block comparator here dust three dusts uh, a torch uh, this torch um, uh, prevents this uh, uh, hopper from grabbing the items from oops this uh, hopper and this one should not point uh, directly downwards and uh, now uh, the items will flow in uh, on this uh, ice uh, path, I don't know. Uh, make sure you use ice and not packed ice, otherwise this torch uh, will uh, uh, create a short loop uh, here. So you have to use ice and make sure that uh, you don't put too much light and don't melt the ice. Okay, let's build another one. So hopper, chest, hopper, slab, 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 full block. Uh, comparator, three dusts, a torch, and the first hopper. The good thing about this design is that it's uh, modular in terms of uh, st uh, storage space. At the moment we only have uh, one chest, but we can expand this to a double chest. Uh, put, yeah, it can open, oops, put another double chest here, make this uh, hopper point towards it and then um, have another hopper go to this this chest uh, put another double chest here a hopper here remove this one and add the last uh, hopper here to so now we have a three double chest of storage uh, however if you do this make sure that you put a block here uh, to prevent items from uh, going from this uh, dropper to the top of the ledge of the 
hopper here. Items can get stuck here, so this uh, block is uh, necessary in this situation. Okay, uh, now we want to. Well, I will be build the whole uh, sorting system, and uh, I'll be back. Now that the sorting system in is in place, it's time to set it up. So you notice that we use the three long redstone signal here. So what I like to do in this situation is use an I use an item that stacks up to 16 as a filler. Uh, set it up like that, and that way only one item uh, stays in the uh, input uh, hopper. Okay. Uh, about the water flow, you can use whatever technique you want uh, with the fast items traveling on the edge, but uh, I prefer this situ this system uh, because um, that way uh, this hopper can grab a full stack of items at uh, at once. So let's see if I send a full stack here. You notice that uh, everything is grabbed uh, by this uh, hopper. It's uh, I think it's more convenient this way. So, uh, okay, let's set up all the all the hoppers, and uh, I'll be back. All right, I went ahead and finished the system. Uh, so we now have um, here an input uh, item elevator, so I can uh, send the items there uh, because these uh, stones. Uh, are not uh, in the system, they will go back towards the uh, output uh, water stream, which is uh, here after the packed ice uh, tray. So it's this stream there uh, that goes around and goes to the uh, output uh, item elevator that uh, goes to the control room. Um, now, if I want to get items, I select with the two item frames. Here are the items uh, in the system. So I want spruce. Planks. Ah, here are the stones. Uh, I request some items. You hear the dropper clicking because it's uh, uh, not far away. Okay, here are the planks. Uh, let's say I want uh, uh, jungle uh, slabs, and I can request uh, them as well. Nope, that should be enough. And there they are. Uh, all right, well, that's about it. Uh, I hope uh, you find this uh, helpful and have a good day.